What is good, Nation? It's Stock J back with another video, and in this one, I'm going to be talking about the win-only AMC stock and what you should be looking out for for the future. I'm also going to be breaking down what's going on with AMC and Twitter because we are seeing something very huge that just happened as Elon Musk just bought the entire company, and I believe that this is going to be potentially huge for amc and gme because elon musk now has a lot more freedom a lot more control over the company and he can tweet some big things believe it or not so i'm going to show you some things he has said about gamestop in the past talk about why this relates to amc and why this is increasing the odds of the moas starting very very soon now before i break any of this down before i talk about what's going on with twitter i do have to mention some very important things first the first thing is i'm not a financial planner so please don't take this as financial advice and also if you guys can please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this not only benefits me but it's the entire ape community as a whole and the last thing is if you guys can please check out the weeble link down below and in the description now i do know that weeble uses payment for order flow but please hear me out when i say this because with weeble you could actually get some free amc shares for your different brokerage accounts and the way this works is if you sign up and deposit any amount of money whether it's one dollar or a hundred dollars it's up to you you're guaranteed five free stocks each worth up to two thousand dollars once again that's free money and you can always sell these five free stocks for cash whether it's one dollar or for a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars it does not matter because when you sell these five free stocks you're gonna get free money and you could always use that free money to buy some amc shares for free or transfer them to a different brokerage account this is a limited time offer that ends in just two weeks check it out before they run out of free stocks to give with that out of the way let's get on with the video so anyways looking at amc we are kind of trading quite well today a little bit in the green but we did see a lot of side sideways price action but there was something very big that essentially took up the entire market and that is this what happened yesterday and that is twitter accepted elon musk's buyout deal now at the end of the day this is huge news because what what happened was elon musk is now going to take the company private and that in turn is going to give him lots of power lots of control over the company now different people do have different views of that but in my opinion for me to actually you know disclose this it's it's amazing news in my opinion because it gives elon musk the power to limit a lot of bad things that have been going on with these platforms and he is very much in favor of the first amendment he does love free speech and on top of that what he ended up doing is he bought the company at 54 dollars 20 per share and the thing was trading in the 40s so they didn't get a good deal off of that and now that it's private i don't believe it's going to be able to be traded on the lit exchange anymore it's now a private company and this is going to be huge because elon musk has mentioned the fact that free speech is the bedrock of a functioning democracy and twitter is the digital town square where matters basically are vital to the future of humanity are debated right so he did talk about why it's very important for us to have free speech and he did end up acquiring the company and as a result of that he is very very excited to make some big moves he did talk about uh, big plans coming out but i want to talk about how this relates to amc and gme now because we know elon musk now essentially owns the company but what's big about that is this right here so he essentially has total control over the company which is true he does have essentially a hundred percent ownership of the company and the reason why this is good is now he could say what he wants when he pleases so the next time we see a big run-up for something like amc or gme and we know it's eventually going to come with all the enthusiasm with all the apes with everything going on perhaps even the start of the moas we have an additional catalyst that's also going to help amc push up that is elon musk we saw amc push up to 20 in the past we also saw this thing hits uh 72 bucks so what i'm trying to say is that elon musk could be the person that ends up tweeting some big things because if i go right here during the big run-up that gme had it did run up in an extra 157 percent after elon musk game stonk tweet so if you go down right here you could see when gamestop started running back i believe last year Elon Musk tweeted game stock so it just goes to show that if he wants he could tweet what's on his mind and he could say things that could really help us out with the MOAS because we have historical evidence of him doing that I mean if I actually bring up GME's chart which is like right here re remember that happened like last year early last year gme was running up i think it was actually starting to slow down a little bit around this time then we got that elon musk tweet which came i think like right here and like a day or two after this thing 
absolutely ripped up to $500 a share. People made a lot of money off of that, but it's not the end for AMC and GME. I'm simply stating that we have a lot more room to go because if you go back right here, Elon Musk also tweeted this right here. He tweeted that you can't sell houses you don't own. You can't sell cars you don't own, but you can sell stock you don't own. This is BS in his opinion. He thinks shorting is a scam, legal only for vestigial reasons. So in my opinion, like we could disagree with him if you want. I mean, different people out there have, have talked about how shorting is uh, proper for the markets. It's essential. But if this power is abused, that's where the real issue comes, in my opinion. But at the end of the day, we know that he knows what the shorts have been doing. And Tesla is one of those few companies that surprised everyone and they ended up surviving the big attacks that they got from these short sellers and i do believe amc and Jimmy are going to be next in line and elon musk can sympathize with the movements the people involved that have lost money but they haven't essentially lost money until they sell but you understand my point people are down they're down on both amc and Jimmy since they maybe brought and bought in maybe some a lot of people are up on gme but some people could still be a little bit down on amc but it doesn't matter because all of us are in this together. We're not selling for low prices. We're not willing to give up or quit. And we believe that this thing has that squeeze potential. So I actually want to just put that out there that when this thing starts to run, if we have some massive MOAS move kind of like this, if AMC starts to hit the hundreds of dollars a share, right? Elon Musk could tweet about it and he could be that extra catalyst that really pushes this thing to the absolute moon. I think it's very possible now. It's even more possible now that he has control over the company. And that's essentially what I have for this video. So this is fantastic news in my opinion that, that he has control. Some people could say that, oh, one person having too much control is not good. And I can understand that. But this person that's controlling it is in favor of the First Amendment. They're not going to do the same thing that these other bodies have been doing. So I'm just putting it out there that this is great news for the AMC movement, great news for our community. And I can't wait for what tweets he has coming out for the future. Now, uh, one last thing I want to talk about is uh, this right here. When looking at AMC's data, right, we're still seeing the same high short interest and in everything else like that. So shorts haven't covered. And we also know that we're getting closer every single day. Every day that goes by, the squeeze is getting closer. We just have to be patient. Some people believe it could happen this year. I don't truly know when. That's the big thing. We don't know when. But at any given moment, there could be that black swan event, some big catalyst, whether it's GME's earnings, GME announcing a potential dividend, or some massive Elon Musk tweets. It could come in the blink of an eye when no one expects it and amc could just soar so could gme when people don't expect it so anyways i'm still incredibly bullish i have not lost my faith i'm still holding on to my shares and i'm not giving financial advice by the way i just wanted to put it out there we're not quitting we're not going to let anyone beat us down we remain calm cool and collected and now we have something else to be prideful over and that is elon musk working on our side acquiring twitter and he could have some big tweets for AMC in the future. Now, anyways, thank you. Have a great rest of the day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. AMC to the moon. And peace out.